Venture Park was packed, according to witnesses. The officer tells us he was just waiting for an attendant to help out his children with a game. When what he saw next, he says, is still stunning to think about. Right place, right time, I guess. As we talked with Officer John Kane of the West Vincent Police Department, we learned it was more than luck. So his head was through that netting, his arms were dangling, uh, he was foaming at the mouth and was unconscious. And people were trying to get him out, either trying to untangle the rope, but it had cinched around his neck pretty good. An eight-year-old boy, he says, was hanging four to five feet off the ground. When I first got to where he was, I didn't have a positive outlook, just from what I was seeing with my own eyes. It was Saturday afternoon around one at Thrills Adventure Park. He grabbed a knife along with another off-duty officer, got it to those above him, and they braced themselves. They were frantically cutting pieces of rope, and there's three people in there. And we were yelling up, don't cut too much because you're going to end up dropping everybody on us, and then we're not going to be able to help anybody. The boy did fall, and the two officers caught him. Deputy Chief Cooper and I grabbed him and then made our way off to the exit, and I immediately started doing chest compressions and Deputy Chief Cooper gave him a, a few rescue breaths. For three to five minutes, those officers performed CPR, Kane fearing the worst. He took a big gasp and we realized he was coming to. All while that packed indoor park had the music going, the lights flashing and crowds trying to get a look. It's loud music, strobe lights, you know, black lights, all that's going on while you're trying to get people to get away from the area so that you can save somebody's life. And they did. The eight-year-old sent to the hospital, alert, scared, but alive. I'm just glad I was there, and I'm glad the outcome uh, was a positive outcome in the end. A lot of people glad those two officers were there. We did reach out to the deputy chief from Darby. He did not return our call for comment. Now, we did reach out also to Thrills. They say they're making changes to that attraction and will keep it closed until those modifications are completed. As for Officer Kane, he says it's rare he gets to hear the outcome of someone that he intervened, especially someone when he's working to save their life. He says he's glad to know that eight-year-old is going to be okay. Reporting live in King of Prussia, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.